Okay, so we are back. Let's go ahead and get started. You should be able to see my pointer on screen. On this video, we will be covering link cloaking, shortening your links, your affiliate links for products that you guys are using on your websites. Please keep in mind, this is a warning. Do not use this link cloaker or any other if you're using the Amazon affiliate network. You cannot cloak Amazon links. Yes, you heard me right. If you're using Amazon products, the links that come from Amazon, you can only use their own internal link shortener that comes with Amazon. You will find that in their own control panel and it's under their terms of service. Do not use any link cloakers on Amazon or they will ban you. Okay, let's continue on on this video. Again, this is for your regular WordPress sites. This is what this is for. This is the link shortener that I always use. Let me just tell you really quick what this is before I start dropping into it and configuring it okay many people when they land on a link they're going to hover over like i'm doing now and you can see where this link is going to land they can see it at the bottom of their page it's kind of hard for me to show you but just by i'm sure you understand what i'm saying well anytime somebody clicks on a link sometimes just by hovering over it somewhere on their screen usually on the bottom of their screen it's going to show where that target is or they can right click and go to the target url and see what it is but most of the time they can see those crazy numbers or affiliate links and they will know sometimes if they know it's affiliate link they will not click on it for many reasons one is they're just scared or they don't want you to get a sale yes some people are mean but that's just the way it works anyhow just wanted you guys to know why I use link shorteners and why everybody else does it really helps and if you guys need to update some of your affiliate links it's super easy when you use a link shortener I'll show you why anyhow go ahead and go to your admin control panel go to the admin sections of course plugins go ahead and search for it pretty links that's the name of it and then you guys will see it right here and it's going to be under Blair Williams right here where I'm circling this is the correct one make sure it says pretty links by Blair Williams there's a whole bunch of them that are going to come up this is the only one that I use if you guys want to use something else that is your choice of course okay so here we go let's go right inside it now I I am inside I went to the admin section I clicked on options and one of the default options that I, I always change is right here redirection type where I'm circling right here I want you guys to change this to 301 permanent instead of temporary that's just because Google rather see well any search engine will rather see this when they crawl your site instead of temporary it's not good to show a temporary link okay I leave these these two turned on by default enable tracking enable no follows on and this one I do not tick on now, if you're wondering what these are you can do the research and Google if Google it if you like to find out more but don't overthink this stuff just click update and keep moving on here we go okay inside now all I did now is click on add new link this is how we're going to convert your Clickbank product this is a Clickbank product link from an affiliate network called Clickbank but you can use whichever one you want I use many net networks but not Amazon again you can use uh, JVZoo whichever one you guys are working with okay Max Bounty actually Max Bounty is more trickier but uh, let's just skip that but anyhow right here is a Clickbank product so right now I did it's already dropped in but basically it would just be blank okay there would not be nothing here I just dropped this in this is what you will find when you go under Clickbank and it tells you to grab your your links this is the top one so there's two on uh, Clickbank I grab the top one and this is it I just dropped it in as soon as you drop it in the next thing because this is the target this is this means where it's actually going to land right here click on the little We'll just hover over it and click here and it will tell you what it is okay this is your pretty link this is what it's going to end up being it's going to be my website url and then whatever i type in here i'm going to know what it is uh, this is a landing page product it's called insta builder so i'm just going to call it landing page i typed this in earlier before you guys came on video okay and by default it drops in this title here I did, I, I did not put this in there you guys are welcome to change it out if you guys like okay so again drop in your product here go ahead and hit update and you guys are done now before I move on I do want to say one thing let's say that this product is no longer available 
and you're going to choose another similar product and keep the landing page basically the same or maybe you have to tear apart the whole thing i don't know but let's just say you wanted to keep that same landing page going and those same links everywhere well this will be the link that you guys want to change right here the target link because this is what this link here is in your website you don't want to change this or else you're going to go into every single page where you have this affiliate product change it here and then just hit update and bam so when whenever somebody clicks on this link here is the one that they're going to land on from your page hopefully that makes sense hopefully the people who are near are like what i'm only saying this in case you guys have to go back and change a product do not change this because this is already say you had 100 pages and you were advertising this on 100 pages you don't want to go to every single page right so you're not going to touch any of those pages just change it here change this this is the actual affiliate link hit update bam but just don't change this because this is what's on your website okay i'll show you that in a minute on under finished products when you go under finished products you can see what i get i get the title you can change the title like i said earlier if you guys like i did make a group this is going to be your clicks unique clicks uniques and clicks sorry about that right here is going to show this is going to tell you when it was created and the time and this is the actual finished product this is what you've been waiting for this is the pretty link so you click on it and you can just copy it to your mouse right there and that's basically going to be this link here if you look it's kind of kind of hard to see on this video but it's basically my website slash demo landing page without the new window in there that's what it says on that little thing that just popped up this right here okay so that's what it basically builds that's what you you guys are after is this piece here so let's say you have a hundred products here anytime you want to grab your link you grab this and then you paste it inside your affiliate page that you guys made so whatever you guys are building your sales page landing pages this is your link if it's going to go inside a button or it's going to go under a custom graphic or just some text this is how you guys do it you grab this link and you drop it in watch one of one of my other videos on how to drop in affiliate links and i will show you how that's done but that's basically the the, the way it works uh, don't overthink this stuff you have to use a link shortener it really helps uh, people don't like seeing those really long funny looking links with all those numbers and stuff okay you guys that's pretty much it and uh well actually one more thing right here you can click on these edit that uh, you can get rid of it right here you can change you can de delete this whole entire link cloaking analytics this goes to twitter of course email and this is going to go land on the product itself and here's the new affiliate link that's all this is so you can edit them here anytime you want to edit one go ahead you, you create groups here maybe i skipped that yeah right here where it says group create your groups here try not to do it inside of the editor when you're here because you're going to see it won't save it you have to create groups here and then choose it from inside the editor you'll see once you guys play with those there's really not that many tools here okay guys i will see you guys in the next video and uh, that's pretty much it. Next video. See you guys.